Welcome to volume two of Skatomaville. And we're in a fabulous place called Purgatory. But you don't have to stay here. If you remember volume one, it's all the mental tools for self-awareness through self-understanding that you can apply discipline to change the trajectory of your experience in life. You see, an expedition is a journey with a purpose. And if your purpose is to transform what you've been handed into something you desire, then volume two is gonna be fabulous. I've known quite a few people that have gone to seminars and workshops and the hope that they would get a bit of a bump, a lift, a uh, artificial boost to their self-awareness. In my experience, it does not come without great effort. You gotta walk up that thing. If you just get airlifted to the top of your personal Everest, you're gonna get an edema, a brain swelling. You get blow up, you, you die on the mountain. Here's an example. So the deal with a scotoma, with a blind spot, right? The deal with it is they're really hard to find. They're usually right in front of you. And you go down a long, windy path to find the simplest little thing that just escaped you. Case in point, last night... Let me show you the problem, okay? Watch the door. It's not latching. So look at that, it's not latching. So you can't, you can't drive a car with an unlatched door because you'll fall out. So you notice right here? So it's a $68,000 brand new Ford yeah. and so what do we do? We go on the internet and I start seeing that Ford's got 2.15 million vehicles, 1.3 million vehicle recall, 1.34 door latch problems. There's a class action suit. This has been an ongoing thing for, oh, it's been years and years and years with all different models. Within, oh my gosh, it's just on and on and on. So then I'm calling the dealership to find out that we can't get the vehicle in until Monday because it's Friday now. And after they look at it, it'll be seven to 10 days to get the parts. And then it'll be three or four days in repair, meaning it's probably two weeks from now before that can be fixed, right? But then they got to look up my VIN number and they discover something very interesting. It is almost August. We purchased the truck in December 2019. We filled out all the paperwork, did all the prepaying of the fees, the taxes. We just need our title. And we don't have our title. It means we can't fix our vehicle because we don't own it. And I've gone back and forth and back and forth between emails and phone calls and sending documents. Oh my. And right now we have a broken passenger door or a door that won't latch, which will swing open when Daniel drives where I could fall out, but I won't, because we can't drive the truck. You've been very patient waiting for them to do their job. I'm not patient anymore, because now it's a safety issue and it's a transportation issue. She has been so patient. I've been wanting to go get the license plates. Look at the back of the book. It says Skooma, and the printer rejected the book on three fix-it requests on tickets because the spelling doesn't have the T, but that's the license plate that I can't get. Because, because well, the car is not registered. I have to be patient because on COVID working at home. Well, oh that's, my part of it. that's COVID and then that's incompetence and that's just poor customer She's always really, really patient. I'm patient. So see this face? I'm patient that's, for point. That's what you have gone overboard. So I have some diffuse time and I think about where's this Katoma? What am I missing? What? There's got to be something in this. It can't possibly be this complex where even she gets triggered. Let's go have a look at the truck to show you what I discovered. Here's where the Katoma comes in. I sit down, have some diffuse time. I literally think through what I've read about the recalls and about the latches freezing and all the other things and 
I go, wait a minute. Let me, okay, now that I know the mechanics of the door, let me, let me look at something. Yesterday, I had some mints when we took my daughter to the airport, and I put it back in here, and unbeknownst to me. Which is where you store all of your things, yeah, right? Yeah, it's where I store my stuff. So you just but put them in here. Look at how easy it is just to flip it down. It's really easy. And what does that do? It keeps the door unlatch because that's what you pull on to unlatch the door to open it that's why it won't latch because of these so i have to stick these down here so i don't fall out of the car <laughs> while you're driving because of some mints here's the takeaway from this example of becoming self-aware, right? Getting out of Scotomaville. The tools in volume one match up with the stories in volume two. And in this case, you see the pattern recognition. Uh, I'm thinking things are always complicated. It's gotta be, so I jump right to a conclusion with the 20 watt brain, right? We find things, we spot them right away, that are familiar, they match up with patterns and experiences we've had previously, and so we proceed right down a pathway based on being 100% wrong 50% of the time. However, I took an opportunity for diffuse time to let the whole thing soak and using triangulation to get another point of view. Ta-da! Walk back out, reassess everything, and there it is. What's that doing though? It's down simply there? a package of mints. It's not two weeks without a vehicle and thousand dollars in costs. I'm just telling you, these tools really work. So I don't want you to miss this. I start pulling out my safety recalls. I'm trying to take things off of my list. And now on YouTube, in the recommended sidebar, get it? AI is now chasing me. See how this is all tied together? Scotomas end up with AI chasing you. I really want for you to become more than just self-aware. You know, seeing what it is you do. I want you to become understanding, knowing why you do what you do. But better than that, having the discipline to chart a path into new horizons, to create a life for yourself that you weren't handed. To be able to change things from what you inherited to what you desire. And that can be done. I've done it. And we're starting the expedition, leaving the Pacific Northwest, heading to New Mexico, stepping into our own airstream, and from there, journeying with where it takes us. And I look forward to all those episodes to come, which at this point I do not know. And I wanna see how we handle the events of the future, the changes, the curves, the disruptions, the life that happens between our plans, right? Welcome to Volume 2.